EQ is, is essentially emotional intelligence, right? So there are different, the, according to some theories, there are different forms of intelligence. And we all think of it as someone's book smart or they're people smart. But there are people we all know who are just very, very adept. I'm sure there's some in this room who are just really good at picking up on subtle cues and on interrelating with people, love to build relationships that are really, really good at that stuff. Uh, I am not one of those. I tend to be a little bit more academic. But I think this is a learnable skill or at least something that with tools, we can all get better at. Right? So the idea is when you're talking to someone and you're interacting, there's kind of two things occurring. Right? There's information being transferred back and forth. But there's also these subtle nuances. There's rapport that we're building. Right? I'm interacting with you. I'm taking note of your physical cues, your body language, your tonality. And I'm engaging with you and kind of mirroring those. Some are better at that. Some are worse at that. All the bot makers that are out there, they're really focused on the content. They're really ensuring that when someone asks a question, I deliver the right content to them so that I've answered their question and I've made them happy. What we saw was that no one's thinking about EQ. And what I'll show in a second is that that EQ matters more to you in terms of that interaction and its outcome than the actual information that was conveyed. Right? Whether I walk away happy or sad, it's not as much a matter of did I get the question answered. It's really a matter of did that person relate to me and make me feel like I was valued and cherished and did we build a relationship? And so that's the, the, the value proposition for Rapport Boost is we are providing emotional intelligence to conversational commerce. The idea is we use machine learning. You hand us large corpus of data, chat and messaging data. You hand us some metric of success, some KPI indicating did someone churn? Did they buy a product? Did they give a positive customer satisfaction score? And what we ultimately do is train our algorithms to help human agents be more human, to help them engage with customers and provide a better experience. And ultimately, the long-term goal is not just to help humans, it's to help machines. We're going to take everything we've learned from our human agents, and we're working with a lot of them now, and we're going to tell bots how to engage with you in a more authentic way.